Monday morning, everybody. And uh, Keegan's tearing up the <laughs> alphabet floor from his playroom. Yeah. And bringing it out to the living room. Yeah, I don't know why. He just is feeling like it. And as you can see, the laundry is still. Yeah, the laundry is still in the living room. But John has been doing it all by himself all weekend. <laughs> wrangling Tegan and keeping the house going so it's a full-time job now that I am back Ben is back in action I'm back in action maybe we could get some stuff taken care of when we're uh, working together we have no food so John has to go get us some something to eat yeah and who knows when we're gonna have time to go grocery shopping this week <laughs> it's I a don't pretty know it's a pretty busy week it is we have to get um, Filming today, possibly with Ryan. And tomorrow, Tegan goes to the nanny, and we have more filming. <laughs> Wednesday, we see Elastic and Jenny. Mm -hmm. Thursday, I don't, oh, you got your nail appointment on Thursday. Yeah, I get my new nails Thursday. Friday's your uh, workout class, yeah. as always. And Saturday, we're going up to Bangor. For the Comic-Con. For the Comic-Con, and we're staying the night. Yeah. So we'll be back on Sunday, and then we get to do it all over again. It's only Monday morning, and it's like, holy smokes. Alright, I don't know what I'll go grab, but I'll be back. Alrighty. As you can see, the temperature has definitely shifted. We're all uh, bundled up. It's actually snowing out, if you can believe it. It is. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's snow coming at us. It's, it's not accumulating. Snow. It's spitting snow. So we are off to Jenna and Ryan's house because we don't have a What's Ryan Tryin' in the can, as they say in the biz. <laughs> we don't have a What's Ryan Tryin' prepared for Wednesday because the last time we saw him was like a month ago and we recorded like all four at once. Yeah, all but, the Eastery ones. Yeah, but now we have nothing. So we have a little window. Ryan gets out of work at 3.30. But then he has to hop in the car and go to a chiropractor appointment. For his riblet, as he calls it. <laughs> For his sprained riblet. <laughs> so anyway, Jenna assures us there's like a 15 to 20 minute opening where we can record a video real quick. So we don't have Tegan, he's with Grammy and Grandpa. It's just us. It should go smoothly in and out of there. Yeah. And then, I don't know what else. If we're... Then we're gonna be in the same predicament next week. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Yeah. Ben, Ben didn't mention it in yesterday's vlog, but she found, a, discovered a Ben's Toy Ben fan while working on the Wizard of Oz play. I did, I didn't even get her name and I feel bad. So I was gonna say, but give her a shout out. I can't because um, I didn't get her name. She was, Ben But was... she was a, a munchkin. She was a munchkin in the land of Oz. She was a, a lollipop guild munchkin. So if you're watching, hi. <laughs> ben was wearing one of her official. Oh, time out! Look at the hotel coming along. I don't know if it's on camera. If it's not, if, it, if you couldn't see anything, Ben will cut that out. So anyway, Ben was wearing one of her official Ben's Toy Bin shirts. Now available on Spreadshirt.com/slash Ben's Toy Bin. Yes. <laughs> Link is always down there in the description. And apparently, this young lady said, "I love your shirt. Do you watch them?" Or did you say, do you watch I, them? I asked if she if she watched them. And when she said yes, I said that I was Ben, and she got all excited. Yeah, Ben said she was like, <laughs> like all starstruck. <laughs> it so was very was cute. cute. We watched the first episode of Duff Till Dawn. You may remember me adding that <laughs> to the Netflix queue. I can kind of see why it was so lowly rated, because yeah. that was the lowest stakes I've ever seen in a baking competition show. You know, we, we've watched our fair share of those, like uh, Buddy's Next Great Baker and uh, Cupcake Wars. And usually there's something, there's like a prize, you know, that makes or it, something. Yeah, the competition is like competing for, you know, like a position at the bakery or a trip or your cake will be served at this high profile event. But in Deaf Till Dawn, it's a golden whisk. And that's literally, it's not even, I don't even think it's real gold. I think they just spray painted a whisk. Yeah, gold. they went to the, the hardware store and bought a generic whisk and spray paint. Okay. So I'm not, I'm, I don't want to take anything away from the cake decorators. I mean, they're always yeah, they're amazing. Very, yeah, they're, they are very but good. But as an entertainment show, it's, you know, it's hard to get into it when there's like, there's nothing really to root it's for like, them. It's like, oh, they didn't get the spray painted with. <laughs> because in this episode, they were doing luau themed cakes. So I thought, 
when it makes sense of death surprised them like oh it's gonna be a trip to Hawaii for a prize and they're really gonna bring their a game no no that didn't just happen a whisk. just a whisk and you could tell well I, I kind of get the vibe that at one point Duff was so bored wait, waiting for this competition and there being no stake so he didn't really care one way or the other that he just started helping yeah <laughs> this one team he, him and uh, Jeff and the other co-host they just like started helping <laughs> making the cake like da, 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 no big deal making some nuts in case you don't know the gist of the show is um, these two teams of uh, cake decorators come in Duff gives them a theme like last night's was uh, luau Hawaiian themed <laughs> And the gimmick is they're over. They have to do it overnight in Duff's Bakery. Yeah, like as in when they're not open to be making actual <laughs> cakes, they can use the bakery to make these show cakes. It's crazy. And that's pretty much it. That's, yeah, that's, that's all pretty there much is. It. Yeah. I don't know how old this show is. There's only like six episodes, but it definitely has a vibe like Food Network didn't give them any budget at all. Mm -mm. There's no special set. There's no prize, so to speak. No. <laughs> but at some point, yeah, you just to look on Duff's face was like... Like, I'm tired. I'm tired. It's like three in the morning. They're not paying me for this. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I'll probably stick to it to the end because I like cake decorating type shows, but <laughs> it's not going to be high in the old Netflix queue. <laughs> By the way, we have some big news bigger than us reviewing <laughs> probably like a three-year-old Food Network show. <laughs> we heard back from the bank this morning, and we have been... Approved or pre-approved? Yeah, the uh, the loan amount has been approved. Now we just yay. have to, yeah, yay! Our first hurdle. Our first hurdle. Now we have to get all of the like we got approved off from estimated yeah. quotes. Mm -hmm. Now we have to get the like nitty gritty quotes, like what it, it really is going to cost, and then the bank decides whether or not it's going to be a value enough to give us the money. So. So one hurdle has been crossed, mm -hmm. fingers crossed. Still, we have a couple more uh, hurdles to jump, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. The, the basic gist—I don't think I explained it very well. The basic gist is that the bank will only give us the money if the house and the land are appraised at a certain value. Yeah. It's, it's like it's all complicated stuff. Boring, but boring, boring stuff. banker stuff. So we're trying to like. So. Um, yeah. Try to keep it brief for your. <laughs> we'll, yeah. go, we'll go off for ten minutes about <laughs> Duff, Duff and his cake show, <laughs> but we're, we'll keep the we'll keep the uh, banking stuff to a minimum. <laughs> so anyway, we have to go and pick all of our options, like for sh for real, for real, and uh, see how much the house will cost. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna be trying some new M&Ms today. Spoiler alert. Spoiler! Maggie, go lay down. Tripod. All right. Oh, right here. So Ryan's on a very tight schedule today. Gotta, gotta get this done. But we're pros. We're gonna have this done and we're he'll pros. be on his way. <laughs> we're so far from pros. Maggie, come on. <laughs> Beagle, living room, no bedroom. <laughs> He's all dressed up to head out to the chiropractor. He has to bundle up. <laughs> I got my two hats on. It's cold outside. Well, did you mention that it's snowing again? We yes, had we 60 did, degree, yeah. We had 60 degrees on Thursday, and look, there is white stuff on my grass again. <laughs> the grass is turning green. <laughs> hey, viewers of this vlog, what do you think about Ryan and Jenna having their own Q&A video, maybe like once a week, where they answer questions from you, or they ask you questions, and you leave comments? <laughs> Jenna, Jenna's not sold on the idea. I think it's a good idea. Ryan thinks it's a good I idea. Think I want think to it's know a, what I'm thinking. Of. That's what I say too. I think it's a great idea. Like once a week, you guys sit down, and you know, just talk, talk with the people, talk with your fans. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> it won't be that hard. I know it won't be that hard. It's just talking go, about You gotta things. go. I've gotta go. I've gotta go get my riblets fixed. Yeah, go get your riblets fixed. Don't come back sore though. See you later. You're on your own for dinner. What? You're on your own for dinner. If you're stopping by your parents' house, I'm not making you dinner. Or are you guys going out for Chinese food with these two? <laughs> Probably. You saw the video evidence from the other day? Yeah, I know. They tried to scoot it along just to like... <laughs> when the cat's away, the mice will play. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later. I'm going to be late. <laughs> so while Ryan's away... The mice will play, as he says. <laughs> We're here at Ryan's favorite restaurant. <laughs> 
so I thought, Hi, Ryan. Yeah, so I thought we'd document all the food here and just rub it in while he's at his... Getting his riblets fixed. <laughs> yum, yum. Butter. I have a uh, club sandwich. Ben has... I have a tuna. And Jenna and has the shrimp. And french fries. Yummy. Hey! Oh, no, no.